The idea is Christmas, but with a twist. Traditionally, Goose was always English. Turkey's American. So it's, it's a fatty bird. I'm going to show you a way of getting rid of that fat in its roasting process. Semi-steamed, then roasted. And I'm stuffing it with citrus, and I'm putting in some fabulous, you know, balsamic vinegar, so a little bit sharp, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of the depth from this oyster sauce, fresh garlic, celery, <coughs> carrots. You know, I'm, I'm basically going to go crazy with the flavours, stuff them inside, steam it and then roast it. I'm looking to build in these sorts of flavours without people even knowing they're there. I do that quite a lot with soy sauce. I also do quite a lot with oyster sauce. And it's one of those flavours, it's a bit like cardamom, it's a bit like juniper, where you only just put enough in for people not to know it's there, but to go and go, oh, what's that amazing flavour? What is that, what's that you're doing with that? And so rather than making this like a whole, you know, if you get a whole jar and slip it in, it, it's overpowering. I want to build it into the recipe so that you don't know it's there, but actually it's, it, it's a fundamental part of the flavour. There are areas on it, a little bit fatty, okay? You can see it just here. I'm just going to start pricking it, tip of a knife. I, I need to keep the skin on to keep the seal in, to keep it moist. And also, inside here, where every um, feather follicle is, there's a hole. And that hole opens up, lets off the fat, but then as you then baste it, it absorbs the flavour. I need some herbs, fresh herbs, thyme, and look, I'm not going to be shy about it. Just cut it, stalks and all. You don't need much, a handful. Sprinkle that in, and seasoning, salt, balsamic vinegar, couple of tablespoons, and then the real showstopper for this stuffing is this oyster sauce. And I'm going to go, I've said two in the recipe, but I'm going to go three, because this is where all of the flavours start kicking in. Look at this, I'm just going to mix this up. You've got to season the cavity. A little trick, get your salt in. Give it a shake. Inside, let's start handfuls of this stuff. Now we've got this lovely sauce, vinegar, citrus, vegetables. What's interesting about this technique and about this method of cooking this goose is that the steaming roasting process flavours it, makes it moist, and creates um, a much less fatty bird. So one of the tricks to making sure your goose stays moist is actually cooking it from room temperature. Doesn't matter about the angle, just get your goose onto this tray. Next step is this, hot. Don't start with cold water, because it's going to take a long time for that cold water to heat up in the oven. I'm going to start the steaming process off. I want to try and create an airtight steaming process, one that's going to keep all the heat and steam in, and that, straight in the oven. Okay, I want to put some vinegar, more oyster sauce, that's another couple of tablespoons, let's say three more tablespoons of this oyster sauce. And I'm going to be creating a glaze, basically, and I want to get it hot, and as the goose, I've got about an hour on that goose. An hour, I'm doing it at about 160, 170 degrees. Vinegar. And about 100 mils of this vegetable stock. You can use a stock bouillon or you can use a chicken stock if you like. And just give that a mix. This colour is what we're going to try and get onto the bird. That's going to be, yeah, about 30 minutes just to get up and, and, and reduce down. What we should see is the pores have opened up. Let's get this. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look how much liquid comes off. I know we put hot water in there, but that is all flavour. And this is the oyster sauce, vinegar, and my vegetable stock. Now, all of those pores that opened up because of the heat and because of the pricking that we did, this is going to be soaking into there. Back in the oven. And now every 10, 15 minutes, and we're going to be colouring this bird for the next hour, hour and 45 minutes. So we're in our fifth or sixth basting action. And with the last baste, the goose is, is pretty much cooked. And look at these colours. It's not in any way burnt. 
It's a very, very dark brown, and I've been cooking it, you know, at about 160, 150, and I turned it down as soon as it started to darken, down to about 140, 130, keeping it cooking. Before we go any further with that, this is the liquid that the goose was cooked and gave off. This is our gravy, and it's gonna taste fantastic. 